civil society organizations meeting with Senate President Bukola Saraki over Senator's contentious jumbo pay leaves them with more questions than answers. So the discussion continues. And another meeting raising another question. Former PDP Chairman Senator Alimodu Sharif met with Vice President Yemi Oshinbajo. There is a fallout. Is Ali Modu Sharif joining the APC? Find out right here on the program. And thanks for joining in, everyone. Welcome to the program. This is Politics Today Live on Channels Television. I'm Shane Joaquin Baloye in Lagos. We kick off with a story from Ekiti State, where residents of Omuo, Ekiti, in Ekiti, not local government areas, stormed major streets of the town to protest the suspension of a member representing the constituency, Honorable Fajana Ujwade, by the State House of Assembly. Ujwade was suspended for 101 legislative days on the 30th of August 2017 by the House on allegation of hobnobbing with Senator Biodun Olujimi. The protesters mainly youth, however, demanding the immediate recall of the lawmaker, saying his suspension was illegal and unconstitutional. They are not happy because they've been denied of their representation at the State House, House of Assembly, and they, they know the qualities of their representative. They know that if, if we have not been unjustified, uh, suspended, uh, they know that one way or the other, we would have been able to at least have impact. The man in question was actually accused of act uh, of gross misconduct, uh, violence against his other members, attacking his other honorable members in Abuja, and again sponsoring also members to remove the speaker which is considered as an act of gross misconduct. A committee was set up to investigate him, which he appeared twice before the committee, and he was found guilty, and he was suspended. Honorable Fajan Ojwade is not the first uh, lawmaker to uh, be serving this kind of disciplinary measure. In fact, two of them are currently under suspension, as we speak. Now to another story. River State Governor Yin Sam uh, Wike says... The legal conspiracy between the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and the All Progressive Congress, APC, and the police is a threat to the nation's democracy. That's an allegation. Governor Wiki believes the following INEC and the APC use of the police to deny the people of Rivers East Senatorial District their mandate. According to him, the strategy has been adopted by the APC and was experienced in Rivers State during the rerun elections. He said they have to alert all other Nigerians about this move. Yesterday, former chairman of the PDP, Ali Sheri, visited the vice president, Yemi Oshimbajo, at the presidential villa, and that has raised questions whether the PDP chieftain is preparing ground for his movement. Is Ali Sheri joining the APC? No. That was what he said. Here is a statement sent by his media aide after the speculation started. Senator Sherry's meeting with His Excellency Professor Yemi Oshimbajo, Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, was purely on national uh, state matters and had nothing to do with partisan politics. And this is the APC's reaction to the story. And I quote, Linking the APC National Chairman's visit to the Asso Rock Villa to media reports of Senator Alimodo Sheriff's plan to join the APC is an effort to cause confusion and disaffection in the party in Bronu State. It should be noted that a membership of the APC is negotiated at a world level of intending entrance, irrespective of status. End of quote. <laughs> 